Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is problem solving with multiplication and division. This is our ninth lesson in this textbook right here. So uh, here's our essential question is how do we use the strategy solve a simpler problem to help us uh, solve division problems? Okay, so here's one. Scott works at a fish aquarium store. He needs to fill nine large aquariums with gravel. Now, Scott empties eight 18 pound bags of gravel into a large bin. If he divides the gravel up equally among each aquarium, uh, how much, how many pounds will each aquarium get? Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's decipher and break this problem apart. What do we need to find? Well, we need to find this last question here. How many pounds each aquarium will get right here? All right, and then what information are we going to use? Well, there's nine aquariums. They tell us that. And then the hidden little number is right here, eight, eight 18 pound bags. So Scott's going to empty eight of those 18 pound bags. So what we're going to do is multiply eight times 18 to figure out how many pounds that's going to total. And then we're going to divide those up evenly with the nine aquariums. Okay. So how are we going to use this information? Well, we're going to multiply this eight times 18 first to find the total number of pounds. And then we'll, uh, then we'll divide that by nine. But what we can do is we can uh, make that big number a smaller number so we can divide it by nine. So then we'll use what we call the distributive property. Okay, so let's first multiply eight times 18 to figure out how many total pounds of gravel. So here we did 18 times eight. Okay, and then since um, uh, 18 is two times nine, we can do uh, nine times eight and then just double that. So nine times eight is 72. And then 72 times 2 is 144. Over here we did uh, 8 times 8 is 64. So we carried the 6 and then so and put the 4 down here. And then 8 times 1 is 8 plus the 6 is 14. Either way to get 144. Okay, now we're going to find the total amount of pounds of each aquarium gets. So we're going to take 144 and we're going to divide that by the 9 aquariums right there. All right, well, let's think of um, uh, smaller. Well, to find the quotient, we can break the 144 into easier numbers to divide by because 144 also adds up to 90 plus something. And 90 is easy to divide by 9. That's just 10. So 90 plus how much more will get me 50, or I said the answer, get me 144. Well, 54, and that's easy to divide by 9 also. Let's slide that up right there. So, so. Uh, so now we're going to do uh, 90 divided by 9. See, we're doing the distributive property. So 90 divided by 9 and then 54 divided by 9. Okay, so 90 divided by 9 and 54 divided by 9. Well, that's going to give us uh, 90 divided by 9 is 10. And then 54 divided by 9 is 6. So we get when we add those together, we get 16. So each aquarium is going to get 16 pounds of gravel. Okay. So the big, the hard part was uh, figuring out how many total pounds there were and then dividing that. And if this is a big number, then break this big number up into smaller numbers that are easier to divide by 9. Okay. Let's try another one here, you guys. So Danielle is making hangers for her pots outside. She has 137 inches of rope that she wants to cut into seven equal pieces. The rope has frayed ends, so what she's going to do is begin by cutting two inches off each end. So after she does that, how long will each piece of rope be? Okay, so what do we need to find? Well, we need to find uh, how long each piece of rope will be after we cut it into seven equal lengths. Okay, all right, so what information are we going to use? Well, we begin by uh, with 137 inches of rope. And then we're going to cut off two inches off each end. Well, two inches off one end and two inches off the other end is going to be four inches off. So we're going to take four off of that right there. Then we'll take that and divide that by seven because we're going to make seven equal pieces right there. So, so how are we going to use this information? Well, we can subtract two twice because we're doing it on both ends, cutting off two inches. Then we can solve a simpler problem. You know, because it's going to be 133, and we're going to divide that by 7. Okay, so there's the problem I just wrote down there again. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to uh, do 2 inches off each end makes 4 inches all together. Okay, so 137 minus 4 is 133. So then we're going to... Um, so we're going to do uh, uh, break 133 into easier numbers that are multiples of 7. 133, well, 7 times 10, and this is 7 times 9 right here. And so when I divide this by 7, I can divide these two numbers by 7 and add them together. Okay, so 133 divided by 7 is going to be the same as 70 plus 63 divided by 7. So 70 divided by 7 plus 63 divided by 7 is 10 plus 9 or 19. 
So each piece of rope is going to be 19 inches long. Okay, pretty cool, huh? Break those big numbers down. Let's try one more, you guys. Dana is making punch for her family picnic. She adds 16 fluid ounces of orange juice, 16 fluid ounces of lemon juice, and 8 fluid ounces of lime juice to 64 ounces of water. <laughs> So how many, after all of that, how many eight fluid ounces of glasses, eight fluid ounce glasses of punch can she fill? Okay, well, first we need to find out how many total fluid ounces there are. So we're going to add up all of these numbers, the 16 fluid ounces of orange juice, lemon juice, and then the eight fluid ounces of lime juice, and then don't forget your 64 ounces of water. So when we add all those up right there, we're going to get 140, 104 total fluid ounces, okay? Then we want to know... How many times eight is going to make, how many eight fluid ounces we can do? So we're going to do 104 divided by eight, okay? So uh, 104 divided by eight, let's, uh, let me slide that up there. 104 is the same as 80 plus 24. You can use any numbers that are numbers that are easily divisible by eight, okay? I like 80 because that's just 10, all right? So 104 is the same as 80 plus 24, okay? So we could have used any other numbers that are multiples of 8 to get this right there, but I, I like 80 because it's 10 right there, okay? So then we do 80 divided by, by 8, and then we do 24 divided by 8. Well, that's going to give us 10 and 3, so 10 plus 3 is 13. So Dana is going to make uh, 13 8 fluid ounces uh, of her, her punch for her great picnic. All right, you guys, take care.